Mavaka Guy. Welcome back to Mavaka Guy channel. So, I saw a very, very interesting question coming up about this Hurricane Milton. It's from a Kayla Cardio, which is at Kayla Cardio, K Y L A C A R D I L L O. So, follow her on X. But the uh, question she was asking is she said she lives in Sarasota, Florida, which is in the direct path of Hurricane Milton. They are evacuating my town, but there is no gas left to evacuate, and traffic is so bad that it could be more dangerous to try and evacuate at this point. What would you do if you were me? So it shows the map, it shows the direction that the hurricane is coming towards, which will go right in contact with Tampa and then across to Daytona Beach and back into the ocean. But first off, I want to ask Kai here, what would you do if you were her? So basically, she's right in the middle of it, but she, she said that the gas, there's nothing left, and the traffic's going to be brutal, so she might get stuck right in the middle. If, if you were her, what would you do in this situation? You mean no gas as in there's no gas station? There's no gas left at the gas station because all the cars that are there are taking it. So what would I do? I'd probably try to see if I can... What is that word? Carpool? Or see if there's anybody that can help me to get out of there. You know what I mean? Something like that. What about your belongings? Then I would just have to take whatever that's most important. I can't like take five suitcases with me. So in that leave. case. Of course I will leave. I'm not going to stay there. Okay. So let's see what... Because she does have a lot of replies. I think over 7,000... So we'll just read a few of them and see what people do recommend. Does she stay or does she go? So as I said, quite a few people did reply. One was from Brianna Morello about seven hours ago saying, I have not hit traffic on I-75 heading north. I stopped at two gas stations and they all had fuel. Do not let the rumors of traffic and fuel sh shortages deter you from leaving. Please leave if you're told to evacuate. I-75 heading south has dozens of linemen heading towards Florida. But I did see one where the traffic was backed up. So, I mean, it really depends on which way you're going and time of day. Uh, she does say thanks for sharing this. Another person says, I live in Lakewood Ranch and got gas on Fruitville Road right near 75. We are in a four-story apartment that is only four years old. I'm sure it's up to code. We are staying put and riding it out. For those that live within three miles of the beach, you better get out, please. And she replied, I'm about five miles. Uh, good excuse to come south toward us in Palm Beach County. It looks like things won't be too intense down here. The other issue she said that she's having is that hotels are going to be sold out. Considered going south since traffic isn't as bad. Uh, that's terrible. Please be as safe as you can be. One person is asking, how close are you to the coast? About five to seven miles, but elevated enough to be out of the flood zone. I'm no specialist, but if I were you, I'd go away from the coastal area at the very least. Back when I lived in Macau, we had some pretty bad typhoons, and damages on the coastline were much worse than elsewhere. She decided to evacuate at 2 a.m. So this is right about now so hopefully she will keep us informed as to how she's getting on how can people not in the area help you people in the area are inundated with the damage from hurricane helene this town flooded last week tons of people lost their homes but even if it hadn't the best way they can do is ship in more gas during a situation like this There's a bunch of the uh, places where you can evacuate. So basically, avoid everywhere in Florida except for Miami. And then, of course, you've got Mississippi, Alabama, and Georgia you can go to, as well as Carolina. She says, I actually did get gas ahead of time, so now that it's night and traffic died down, she's leaving. Let's see if she did reply any time after that. But uh, she's clearly on the road now. Sarasota Counting Hurricane Evacuation Centers. The following list of evacuation centers will open at 10 a.m. tomorrow, October the 8th, Tuesday, October 8th. 
Well, let's uh, pull this up in case anybody does need this. Here is some more information for you. Uh, Booker High School, Brookside Medical School, uh, Middle School, Fruitville Elementary School, Golfgate Elementary School, and the uh, evacuation map. You don't really need that, but if you want to pause the video in case any of you do need that information, it's all on the screen. Hector says to try to find a concrete structure with a small room like a bathroom. Use your mattresses as cover in case the roof goes. Hopefully you are above the storm surge's high water level. Honestly, I would leave. We went through Andrew and it was terrifying. I swore I would never try to weather any storm higher than a 3. Remember that people die in these storm events. Do not assume that can't happen to you or someone you love. You still have time to make your way out of the from the cone of death. Brain surfing. This is sound advice, but I evacuated from Orlando in 2017 and drove to a relative's place in South Georgia. It was hit far harder than Orlando. Scariest night of my life. It is such a crapshoot. Ran out of gas on the way home with two toddlers in the dark. Stressful decisions. But at the end of the day, at least you pulled through. I'll read a couple more. Another person said, please leave. Try to get as far inland as possible. Take a bus or train. Park your cars on second floor or higher. Move all of your contents in your house to the second floor. Take photos of your contents before you leave for insurance purposes. Go north. If you go south and the hurricane turns, you have bigger problems. Leave now. What is your elevation? Let's see if anybody replied to this one. My daughter-in-law's sister is staying in St. Petersburg. She said she's on the 43rd floor. Is she nuts? Gee, you think? Clear, some of you don't have PTSD from hurricanes. She really responded to 100 random people, but not read. Average elevation of Sarasota is 16. This man right here is the real deal. Listen to him if you want facts. Thanks, Reed. Give Gizmo a tree from USD friends. Nothing from the east coast to west coast is higher than 33 feet. And uh, we'll just read two more here. If you can get out, leave now and head southeast. The only safe place right now, I am in Palm Beach, Fort Lauderdale, and Miami are good too. Be safe, whatever you decide. And finally, do you have gas in your car? Can you wait until it gets closer? The traffic will probably have lessened by then. Wait to leave until the last moment, but I would leave for sure. Sound advice. People always trying to help out. Finally, some good people trying to help out anyway. We'll see what happens, but uh, it's coming and it's coming fast. If you haven't left yet, I would recommend as well to leave ASAP because this isn't going to take any prisoners. Good luck, and um, if any of you are in the area or planning to leave, let me know in the comment section below. And uh, prayers with you. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing for more. Take care. We'll see you on the flip side. Peace out.